The Shahab-3 is the foundation for all Iran's medium-range ballistic missiles using a liquid propellant, according to Patrick Senft, a research coordinator at Armament Research Services, Ares. The Missile Threat Project says the Shahab-3 entered service in 2003, can carry a warhead of 760 to 1,200 kilograms, 1,675 to 2,645 pounds, and can be fired from mobile launchers as well as silos. Iran Watch says the newest variants of the Shahab-3, the Ghidor and Ahmad missiles, have accuracies of as close to 300 meters, almost 1,000 feet, of their intended targets. Iranian media reported that Tehran used a new missile, the Fada-1, in the attacks. Tehran describes the Fada-1 as a hypersonic missile, meaning it travels at Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound, about 3,800 miles per hour, 6,100 kilometers per hour. But analysts point out that almost all ballistic missiles reach hypersonic speed during their flights, especially as they dive towards their targets. The term, hypersonic, is often used to refer to what are called hypersonic glide vehicles and hypersonic cruise missiles, highly advanced weapons that can maneuver at hypersonic speed inside Earth's atmosphere. That makes such weapons extremely hard to shoot down. FADA-1 is neither of those, according to Fabian Hins, a research fellow at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, who wrote on the subject last year. Hins says the FADA-1 appears to have a warhead on a maneuverable re-entry vehicle, which enables it to make adjustments to avoid missile defenses during a short portion of its dive to its target. Still, this ability would be an improvement on Iran's earlier missiles, Hins says. Meanwhile, Israel operates a range of systems to block attacks from everything from ballistic missiles with trajectories that take them out of the atmosphere to low-flying cruise missiles and rockets. Much attention has been given to its highly effective Iron Dome system, which is used to combat incoming rockets and artillery weapons. But the Iron Dome is the bottom layer of Israel's missile defense and is not the system that would have been used to combat the ballistic missiles launched on Tuesday night, according to the country's missile defense organization, IMDO. The next rung up the missile defense ladder is David's sling, which protects against short and medium range threats, according to the IMDO. David's sling, a joint project of Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense System and U.S. defense giant Raytheon, uses stunner and sky scepter kinetic hit to kill interceptors to take out targets as far as 186 miles away, according to the missile threat project at the CSIS. Above David's sling are Israel's Aero 2 and Aero 3 systems, jointly developed with the United States. The Aero 2 uses fragmentation warheads to destroy incoming ballistic missiles in their terminal phase, as they dive toward their targets, in the upper atmosphere, according to the CSIS. The Aero 2 has a range of 56 miles and a maximum altitude of 32 miles, according to the Missile Defense Advocacy Alliance which called the Aero 2 an upgrade on the U.S. Patriot missile defenses Israel once used in this role. Meanwhile, the Aero 3 uses hit-to-kill technology to intercept incoming ballistic missiles in space, before they re-enter the atmosphere on their way to targets.